Alright. Ever wonder the difference between FedEx Ground, FedEx Express, and FedEx Freight? Well, today we're going to talk about just that on smooth operator trucking. Alright, so the main difference between FedEx Ground, FedEx Express, and FedEx Freight. FedEx Ground is pretty much all contractors. Um, FedEx hires contractors to um, to deliver the freight. You know, you have your line haul guys, you know, drive the tractor trailers. Um, they're owned by an individual or usually um, someone who has several trucks. And then you have drivers that work for that particular contract. Or excuse me, drivers that work for that particular contractor. They don't really work directly for FedEx, they work for that contractor. Um, and then you have the P and D vehicles, which are like the little small box trucks that make the deliveries into the neighborhood. Those are also owned by contractors and normally people who have several um, of those trucks. Some contractors actually have several line hauler big trucks, 18 wheelers, and the small delivery trucks. Alright. Everything being hauled by FedEx Ground can be transported or moved around by hand. Everything is loaded and unloaded by hand. And everything moves by ground. It's the name FedEx Ground. So, say you got something coming from California going to North Carolina, um, you might have team drivers go out to California and bring freight back to North Carolina. And then from there you have your short haul or, you know, guys who may take it from the main hub in Charlotte to, you know, the um, outer hub in North Carolina and the surrounding area. And then from there, they'll get put on the smaller PND vehicles and get delivered that way. So it's a wheeled oil machine. And for the most part, all the FedExes work like that. difference is, like I said, everything is moved by ground, so whatever is being delivered by FedEx ground is by ground, never inside of an airplane. Now, with FedEx Express, usually next day service or two day service or, or whatever, um, at one point in time or another, that package was on an aircraft. Maybe coming from overseas or, you know, flying from California or whatever, but it's typically going to get to its destination quicker. On FedEx ground, it's like a package is almost hitching a ride. You know, it, it takes the most, um, has the least resistance um, to get to where it's going, but, you know, it's kind of hitching a ride. Catching a ride on this truck, catching a ride on that truck, catching a ride on this delivery van, all right? Now, with FedEx freight, FedEx Freight actually, um, everything that's loaded or unloaded on FedEx Freight for the most part has to be loaded and unloaded by uh, using a forklift. Now I've heard that if you drive from FedEx Freight that you have to load and unload your own trailers. I'm not quite sure if that's true or not. Um, leave a comment in the section below if you know for sure whether um, the guys over at FedEx Freight have to load and unload their own trailers. All right. Now, one of the cool things about FedEx Ground um, is, I guess, you know, the freedom that the contractors have. I mean, they, you know, they have left and right limits, but um, some contractors pay their drivers by the hour. Some pay by the mile. Some do a mixture. Some pay by the run. Um, some routes pay more than others. You know, like, I guess a lot of times the seniority of the contractor or seniority of that truck, um, you know, has a lot to do with the route that that 
contractor get, I guess it's kind of like a um, order of merit kind of thing. Um, and I guess it's depending on where you are. If you're like in a really good area, like say, you know, Charlotte or, you know, whatever. If you are looking to drive for a contractor, you're probably going to do pretty good. Um, you know, you're going to get the miles, you know, because that's, that's obviously, that's, that's a big thing there, getting the miles. Because a lot of times you get to a terminal and you might have to sit there for an hour or two, just depending on, you know, if you're on dedicated freight. And if you're just getting paid by the miles and the miles aren't that good, then you might not make enough money. But if you're getting paid by the miles and by the hour, or strictly by the hour, or by the job, then you're probably going to come out alright. Obviously, um, you know, the better runs are the ones that are 500 miles plus. Uh, I've seen some a little over 600 miles, you know. Go 300 miles out, get your freight, and come 300 miles back. So, those are actually probably the best ones. I've seen situations where um, the driver will have to make several stops at night, you know, to, in order to make any money. You know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stops a night, driving all over the place. And when you're dealing with doubles, that's actually a lot of work. And there's actually some contractors that will pay, that will pay their drivers um, for the dropping hooks. One good thing about FedEx, you know, whether it's FedEx Ground Express or at least FedEx Ground, obviously no touch freight, um, no touch freight, terminal to terminal, you know, so. Those are some of the upsides of for uh, driving for FedEx Ground. Can't really speak on FedEx Express or, or FedEx Freight. Um, I think because those are all owned by FedEx, those vehicles, that they have, they're more regimented um, and, and everything. But like I said, with the FedEx Ground, you know, working directly for a contractor, tend to have more flexibility. So it's like, it's like working for a small fleet inside of a huge company. Whereas, you know, FedEx Express or FedEx Freight, you are working for the company. So, those are some of the differences that I know about. Um, again, if you know, know of any other differences, or if I misspoke, Leave a comment in the section below. Um, if you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe for future videos like this. And uh, I hope you enjoy the content. And, you know, come back to hang out.
comment, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. And as always, stay smooth, man.